Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. The topic, making sense of men's mixed messages or something like that. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> uh, before we begin, if you're new to my channel, please check out the subscribe button and hit the bell and, and tell all your friends if you like the content. Okay, trying to understand the mixed signals men give. Oh my gosh, this must be so confusing for women. Um, by the way, this is confusing for human beings because whether it's a man or woman, woman, women, man or woman, we, when it comes to dating, mating relations, human beings give mixed messages all the time for these variety of reasons, which I'm about to share with you in a minute. But I think it's important when you understand the why you can predict behavior and when you can predict behavior, you can make better choices. And this, my channel is all about helping you make better choices. So first and foremost, I know you've been bombarded by the book, The Rules, The Rules, which basically says when a man likes you a lot, he's going to do everything in his power to make you his. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> He's going to do everything in his power because men are single focused and men are hunters and they go after what they want. <laughs> well, if that were true, then why are the bodies piled from here to the moon of every time a guy chased a woman and then disappeared? Why is the number one search term for women trying to understand men, why men pull away, why men disappear? Why men do are commitment phobic, <laughs> okay? If this book was so accurate, you know, it, it's, it's because it's rubbish, it's rhetoric, because it doesn't really get into the human behavior of why people do what they do. And whether a man or woman, human beings are complex. I know you've heard the story, men are simple. Just feed them, fuck them, and shut up when they're watching TV, and that's all you need to know. Ugh! By the way, I didn't make that up. Someone else did, so don't hold it against me, okay? But men are complicated because human emotions is complicated, incredibly complicated. And that is why the rhetoric of a lot of dating advice is centered around all you women have to do is lean back and do nothing because he's going to do all the work. And we know that's true when we're chasing sex or something along those lines, but that's not true in being a fully committed relationship. But I want to help you understand why this happens, because this is the really important piece. So first and foremost, number one is understanding love attachment, love attachment styles. If you're not familiar with Amir Levine's book and uh, Rachel Heller, <laughs> check out the book Attached, because this helps you understand your love attachment style, how we attach to another human being. Women tend to be a little more anxious and men tend to be a little more avoidant. And when you understand why this happens, this will help you understand the mixed messages. And by the way, I hopefully men are watching this too because I want men to read this book as well. But understanding love attachment is hugely important. And then we have to look at the other piece in the puzzle, which happens to be, where's the book? Um, oh. Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks and um, and Helen Hunt, okay? <laughs> bump, bump, bump. Getting the Love You Want. This, under, this helps you understand how we follow. Oftentimes, we choose partners based on our parental upbringing. We choose someone similar to our mother or similar to our father or similar to, you know, whatever. Based on our childhood upbringing, we often, you know, you've seen this happen, ladies. You've chosen men who are like your father, who are emotionally unavailable, the, you know, the avoidant type of personality. But when it comes to men, we oftentimes choose relationships like our parent, one of our parents. And then it can be so confusing because we don't understand what's going on inside of us because once the chemistry begins to fade, in other words, the chemicals begin to fade. And if you want to know what chemistry is, chemistry is brain chemicals being released in the body that says you really like someone. Okay, it's dopamine, it's testosterone, it's estrogen, it's oxytocin, it's serotonin. All these chemicals make you feel good. That's why it's called chemistry. But when the chemistry fades, what you're left with is the personality of a human being 
their emotions. And so when you understand these pieces, such as the attachment style and, and the Imago taught by Harvell Hendricks, and if you want to do a deeper dive in healing those childhood wounds and traumas, then you have to check out the Hoffman process, the Hoffman process. And this is a very expensive inner child workshop. It's an eight day deep dive into your stuff, but you can get the book and start it on your own and, and begin, a, a begin a healing process. Because the reason why men show up the way they do, dysfunctional, if you will, mixed messages, hot and cold, hot and cold, cold and hot, whatever direction you want to go, is because we're in chaos inside of our emotions. We're in chaos with our emotions. So this book, The Rule, says, you know, if we love you, we're just going to go straight after you. Yeah, that's good for the short hunt, but not for the complexities of a long-term relationship. And it's one of the reasons why, you know, if you've been following my channel, I talk about it a lot, Eight Dates, John Gottman's book, Eight Dates, Julie, Julie Gottman as well. Yeah. You need to know this stuff. If you really want to be in a healthy, happy relationship, you got to figure this stuff out. And you got to encourage the guy to do this work too. If you're going to allow a penis into a vagina, then he's got to do this work as well because it's a waste of time if you're doing all the work and he's doing nothing to heal the emotional side of who we are. And believe me, I've been on this journey for the last 10, 12, 13 years. It's why I wrote my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? See? <laughs> what the heck is self-love anyway? It's a journey into personal development, self-help and spiritual work to heal from the inside out so you can become an amazing partner. Whether you're a guy or girl, you can become an amazing partner because you've healed from the inside out and you're stepping into your radiance, you're stepping into your sovereignty, and you're stepping into that part of you that is just vivacious and juicy and delicious to want to get to know because you're an awesome human being. Oh, God, I get so excited when I share this stuff and passionate because I want to shake everybody up and say, do the personal development work. There's nothing sexier than that. And the good news is, if you do this work, whether you attract a partner or not in your life, you're going to feel good about yourself. The journey is not about finding a mate. The journey isn't about, I need you to love me to feel me good about myself. The journey is loving yourself so you can feel fabulous whether you're in relationship or not. So who gives a fuck if men give mixed messages? I've explained why they've done it. But when you're in an awesome place, it ain't going to matter. And that's my invitation for you. Woo. Boy, you know I get really excited. <laughs> all right. You've got some questions. Write them down. I do my best to read all of them. And I try to respond to as many as I can. So write a question down. If you've got a comment or if you've got something to add, please tell me. I may have missed something here. Um, hey, if you're new to my channel, please tell your friends. I want to get my message out. I'm here to spread a different perspective out there. And if you feel like my perspective is different, then please email this to a half a dozen friends. If everybody did this, we could get it viral going and I'd be so grateful. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. I start with giving myself a big gigantic Jonathan Bear hug and my invitation is you grab yourself right now and give yourself a hug as well. Ah. Wishing you a super duper wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye now.